Hello, hi angels. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali Sylvia. If you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you're coming back again, I'm glad you came. And please remember to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload a new video. So basically in this video today, I want us to discuss about the ingrown hair and the razor bumps. Um, why we get them, how to cure them, or rather how to control the appearance of the ingrown hair on your on your body parts, and also better ways of making sure that we don't get ingrown hair. So how do you know that you've uh, gotten some ingrown hair? Most of the time after you've shaved maybe two, three, four days down the line, you start itching or maybe you get rashes sometimes they might tend to be pinkish depending on your skin color and the rash sometimes it becomes so big maybe turns out to a pimple and it has a white head then once this pimple heals or rather sometimes you will squeeze the pus and it will come out and once it heals maybe you will be left with um with a black spot which is uh basically skin pigmentation so clearly you know that is a uh, ingrown hair sometimes the, the pimple will not even heal it will be bumpy and it will be so dark i know you've seen this in in even in men maybe after shaving at the back of their head on their beards even ladies in your armpits under armpits basically in your pubic areas this really happens and it tends to it tends to make people or rather it tends to make some people uncomfortable so basically most of the time we tend to either shave or uh, twist pluck our hair we wax how else do we remove the hair um those are the most common ways of shaving our hair so if we don't follow the right methods when we are trying to get rid of the hair in our pubic areas or under armpits or beards we tend to then um encourage the growth of hair in the an inappropriate place because basically ingrown hair is not an infection it's not um it's not a disease it's not um it's not a sickness but then again the problem with it is that it causes a lot of discomfort the itching and sometimes you find it 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 it, 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 it comes out as a pimple which will have a white head basically having a pus and that can cause um, bacteria infection so to avoid all that basically to just be in a more comfortable place i thought we 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 discuss ways on how to at least control ingrown hairs i'm not an expert i'm not a doctor but at least i have tips which i can share with you and they would be of help to you if you're suffering from this or your friend or your man or someone you know and maybe the, the the tips i will share with you will be helpful so most most of the time we tend to shave and shaving is one of the high risk cause of having ingrown hair the reason being if you shave in the wrong direction one two if you shave and your hair is hard you've not exfoliated before shaving or rather you've not showered or you've not applied maybe foam or oil on your skin before shaving then your hair tends to be very hard and you just cut the hair and you leave the growing hair like a blunt blunt bl you leave the growing hair blunt which then makes it um either take a different direction of growth and then end up causing all all that itchiness and and all that discomfort after shaving so ingrown hair affects everybody basically it affects men more actually 
and i think it's because of the shaving or rather the barber shops they attend to most of the men are affected by this thing either you've seen so many at the back of their head they've shaved and that there is it's not okay they have the bumpy the bumpy whatever or maybe on their beards and women also but then again um having ingrown hair can really really be uncomfortable because it's so itchy oh my god <sighs> it is so so itchy and that already gives you um a discomfort so we are very clear that ingrown hair affects most of the people and some people might not come out and talk about it but then again i felt the need to do this video because i think sometime back on my instagram someone asked about this issue and i had to just get onto it research about it and just come out here and discuss about it because so many people are affected by this issue and they don't talk about it or rather they don't really seek the solutions to solve it okay how do we control ingrown hair oh my goodness what i'm about to say will come out like i don't know not so hygiene but i have to say it the first and the easiest way to control ingrown hair is just stop shaving completely don't remove your hair by whichever means you want to use to remove your hair or rather if you have ingrown hair already if you're going through that struggle just stop take a pause take maybe a month or two months without shaving without removing the hair without doing anything just leave it let it be bushy let it grow i know this will come out like and especially when it comes to ladies ladies want to always clean up maybe every once a week and you know shave and you know feel good and clean and it's one way of um observing hygiene but then you can still observe hygiene without shaving that place but you make sure you clean it thoroughly like have a shower in the morning and in the evening and you just let the hair grow for some time the reason I'm telling you to just let the hair grow is because after now the hair has grown, then now you can implement the right ways of removing hair without having to go through the ingrown hair situation. Okay, that is one. You can decide not to shave totally and stay like that. You can decide to not shave and just hold on for a couple of months, like two months, so that you can uh, overcome the issue of ingrown hair then after that now implement the right ways of shaving or rather hair removal and the best way to 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 remove hair without having the ingrown situation is using the lesser treatment um lesser treatment is not so rampant in our country as of now but i know it is there i have watched um fashionable stepmom if you watch a channel if you don't go to a channel she has done a video doing a laser treatment a hair removal laser treatment video so you can go and watch that video and see the procedure how to go about it or rather you can just sit here and wait until when i'll be in a position to do a video like that and then share it with you either way it works so yeah hair removal laser treatment is one of the best ways to remove hair that way you will not have an um ingrown hair situation at all it's perfect but the only problem is it's a little bit expensive um yeah it is actually expensive <laughs> so i don't know how many people will really afford to do hair removal laser treatment like every month but it's the perfect way to control ingrown hair because once you go through the treatment the hair is removed and even the roots of the hair and by the time hair is growing it's like just new hair like it's not been like cut it's not been you know when you shave you don't pull the hair from the root you don't remove it you just like cut it cut it and cutting it doesn't mean you've like plucked it from the root so that cutting of the hair is what causes the ingrown hair but in lesser treatment you kill the root of the hair 
like if the hair was growing you remove it and then also in the process you kill the root so that makes it take longer for the hair to grow one two it also makes the hair whenever it's growing to grow afresh so therefore you will not have um issues with uh, ingrown hair okay now that laser treatment it is a little bit expensive for everybody to afford it what else can we do what else can we do to avoid ingrown hair we can use shaving creams actually shaving cream is one of my go-to every day every now and then what shaving cream does is once you apply it on your skin it will um thin the hair you notice when you apply shaving cream then you have to like scrap it off it's so thin it's so weak so what that makes it do is the hair doesn't have any bland root and it will not be able now to like divert its roots to another <laughs> i don't know how to explain it in the right terminologies but let me just explain it like in a layman's language so what happens is once you've used the shaving cream shaving cream thins out her hair so whenever it's growing it's not going to have a bland growth it's going to grow afresh the hair will not be sharp pointed because it has already been weakened by the shaving cream so it will just grow normally so those are the best ways which i can actually recommend and if you still insist on shaving yourself i would advise you you exfoliate you can use coconut oil olive aloe vera oil tea tree oil you can use the oils you have in your oil collection to just exfoliate and then scrub that place make it soft before you shave because that way you make the hair a bit not so harsh not so hard let me use that word not so hard it's soft so it's easier when you cut it not to leave it so sharp for it to cause the ingrown hair effect uh if you are not exfoliating before shaving make sure to shower maybe soak yourself in a bathtub for some time before you shave that way your skin will be so moist you, your skin will also be so damp and your hair will be soft and it will be easier to shave and not leave um ingrown hair so basically avoid shaving on a dry skin basically avoid shaving on a dry skin again when you are wax waxing don't oil your skin before waxing and don't shower like shower then wax i would advise when you're waxing you just wax when your skin is dry that way when you pluck the wax it, it tends to like pull everything the hair it pulls everything and that way it's easier to just have fresh hair growing on your skin and then another thing that we don't do often after you've shaved or waxed or used your shaving cream and you've had your hair removal moisturize your skin make sure your skin is well moisturized and that way you you're kind of like treating your skin make sure you moisturize the part which you've shaved if it's your pubic area if it's your under armpits if it's on your beard make sure you moisturize that area generously like moisturize generously so basically that is it but then again if uh the ingrown hair has really caused so much damage and your bumps are too much you can seek a uh, medical treatment maybe but first before that maybe you can get a uh, over the counter medication maybe you can also use um the normal treatments we use for acne like the um, benzyl peroxide but then if you see it's too persistent it's extreme the whiteheads which is pus basically it's too much it's bursting out it's 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 too much please see a dermatologist see your doctor let them help you with that the importance of seeing a doctor is um because maybe that might have gone an extreme 
mile and maybe it has caused an infection and therefore you might be needing antibiotics so because you don't want to self-medicate yourself it's just good to go that route of seeing maybe a doc and then maybe they would recommend the right antibiotics for you or rather cream there are some creams which the doctor would also recommend for you to apply on that area so i hope i have covered most of the things and i hope you find this video really helpful another thing i wanted to share with you is a home remedy on how to lighten um a dark bikini area or rather if you're having um pigmentation around your area where there is hair growth you can take a brown sugar mix it with honey in small proportions not in any specific measurements really but take a uh, brown sugar mix it with uh, two spoons of maybe honey but that depends on how much you're preparing just eyeball I boil this thing depending on how much you want for two days for one day whatever so brown sugar mix it with honey and a uh, lemon turmeric turmeric you know turmeric the one we used to cook and also an oil of your choice you can choose maybe tea tree oil but that one is a bit harsh so you need to dilute that with water you can use olive oil you can use aloe vera oil if there is coconut oil you can use any oil that you have basically you mix all that together and you scrub the area with high pigmentation and for a couple of, of days definitely you can do that maybe three or four times a week and then probably by the end of the month you will see change that really helps to brighten your under armpits your pubic area even the beard area actually it's also a good it's a good natural or rather home remedy scrub for for lightening those dark areas i hope you've really enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and if there is something you feel i've left out please feel free to share with me in the comment section thank you so much for watching love you bye